Hey guys. So today we're going to take this fencing out that's right behind me. It is part of the pasture fence, but it's also part of our, our yard. So here's, here's the house. Eh, I'm not very good at this. So here's the house. So this is our side fence, our side yard. We don't do anything over here but mow. AC units over here too. Um, our satellite poles here, but we no longer have satellite TV. Um, but this is the fence between the pasture, the front pasture and our yard. So we want to make sure that this is um, really clean and we wanna be able to mow right up against it. And then also just to, just to make it look better and also hold animals once we get those. So anyway, this is what we're doing today and I'll give you a different view of it. And, and then also as, as we pull it apart and use the tractor and yank it all out. So we the pipe to do it. We're putting in um, H brackets like on the corners and then H is in the middle. And so we're ripping all of this out to be able to clean up this fence row and then come back in with the pipe that we bought and um, new T posts and new barbed wire. But we're getting rid of all of this animal panel. We're actually going to use it in the, in the garden once we plant. So I'll show you that then, but it's gonna be pretty cool. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've taken off the animal panels that were along this fence. We've got the, the um, T-post hooked up to the tractor and he's going to try and lift all of these up out of the ground. That way we can just crunch all of this. Yeah, easy peasy with the tractor. Oh my gosh, it takes away so much work. It's awesome. So what he was gonna do is he's gonna do this with each one of these T-posts and this corner wooden posts. There are no animals in that bird box we checked. So once he gets all these loose and then he's gonna scrunch them all up and then we can just dispose of everything because all of this is just junk. It's been here for 40 years. So anyway, that's the plan. There's about five bucks saved. so nice having all of this fence out so we can get this all cleaned and, and and then put a brand new fence nice looking fence in we're gonna do the same thing on here we had a whole bunch of church members come out and volunteer and we cleaned this fence row last year last oh january or february i think and got it looking as good as it did because it was all completely grown up and so we'll eventually do all the same thing there too anyway i'll check back when we're crunching all this together he's just pulling up those now well that birdhouse is gone now that was easier than we thought we have all the t-posts gone and all the fence is just laying so what we'll do is we'll just basically wad all of this up and haul it off. We have a big roll-off dumpster and it can be used for any kind of agriculture or um, construction, waste, stuff like that. So he's just untangling the chain now. Uh-oh. We'll wad it up in the fencing. Let's see if we can get some frustration out of him. <laughs> We're good to go. Very cool. So exciting. Are you dancing with that wire? <laughs> All down. We didn't, we're not doing this corner post uh, this weekend because there's a mama bird in there with some eggs. So we're just gonna leave her be until her babies fly out of the nest. I think Caleb is gonna now go and hook onto a grapple bucket and then we can just pick them up. What are you doing, Caleb? I'm gonna hook up the grapple and work smart, not hard today. Try to use this to grab that chunks of concrete so that hopefully I can get all of it in one pass and not have to make bucket loads of gravel. 
What are you doing right now? This is the grapple attachment for the front of the tractor. So this piece opens, closes, so you'll have an actual scoop bucket with the fingers that you grab on and hold on while you're trying to get into it. These lines attach to here on the tractor. Operate this from the joystick button on the console on the tractor. So he's going to try and scoop and basically just push and not try and dig as much as possible. That's exciting. 
exciting. So I'm gonna go through and there's like, Caleb's dad put all of these, um, oh, I, they're just like wooden poles, like telephone poles. And then um, these are thinner than telephone poles. I don't know where he got these. But basically they used to keep baby calves in this front field so they could keep an eye on them. Well, the little, little boogers would push through underneath this just barbed wire fence, they would just get out. And so that's why they put this animal panel along this fence row. And then he also came back through and put like logs, like these telephone poles and whatever else he could get his hands on and basically block the underneath so that they wouldn't push through. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up and then we're done over here for the day. edge of that house to this porch. <clears throat> porch is going away as you can see so Caleb's loading it with the grapple bucket it's easier just to grab onto it and we don't have to worry about lifting big chunks of cement and brick. You can see that they filled it in with rocks and brick and then cemented over it. I don't know if his dad did this or if his grandpa did but that dude is tough. So we're just lining it up and just picking it all up and hauling it off. So hopefully we can get this cleaned up today. That lilac bush, which blooms, the blooms are almost done. I don't know if you can still see any of them. Yeah, there's some. Um, has been here longer than Caleb has and he turned 40 last October. So we don't know how old that thing is, but it produces beautiful big blooms and it smells all over our yard it's awesome anyway we're gonna clean this up i'll get some shots of it for you and hopefully you know this will look better over here to get rid of all of this. Finish up my mowing and 